Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here with Wander to Get Lost and in today's episode we're doing an install of an upgrade for our horn. So, this is what it is. Stick around and let's tackle this project together. It could be this simple forever Everybody, so uh, we are on the move again. We are in Spearfish, North, uh, South Dakota, on our way to North Dakota. Um, so we're at a KOA, and um, gonna attempt to do this upgrade for our horn. So we have the regular stock horn that came with our Winnebago. It's kind of a wimpy horn, and I was looking around and I wanted to keep it under 50 bucks for like a air horn type upgrade and I found this off of Amazon. It's made by Farbin. It's an electricity machine horn. It's a high decibel snail air horn. So uh, this is the size of it right here. Uh, looks like there's a little mini air compressor down here and then you get the air horn sound. So it should be a pretty simple install. It's a couple of wires we have to splice. Um, it comes with a wiring diagram, kind of, right here, nice color pictures. And I think I got this off Amazon, I think it was 30 bucks, so well within budget. Comes also with uh, a filter, so you put this on there so no water gets into the little compressor. Uh, some mounting hardware, so hopefully it mounts to where our current horn is. Uh, then it comes with this whole setup here. This is your ground wire that's going to come off the horn. And this is going to go to your battery. Uh, this fused red power line goes to your battery. Uh, the issue that I'm going to have is that our cranking battery is underneath our steps. So I'm going to have to splice this and run a wire all the way to the battery. So uh, it should be pretty simple. I'm just going to have to add some length to that. So then you have this whole relay set up here. This yellow is gonna go to the positive on your air horn, which is right here. So you're gonna have the positive here. Your negative will be here. Then you have two wires, a blue and a white wire. And according to the diagram, um, the white is your RV, uh, horn power so that's the line that's giving power to your horn so you're going to splice this in and then you have your negative horn power that's going directly to your horn the way ours is set up is i have i'll show you i have a it clips in and then you it's like a connector so what we'll have to do is i'm gonna have to cut that and then um put on a couple of uh female connectors and then they'll be able to just slide right onto this. So it should be rather simple. The hard part being that um, I just have to run the length of wire all the way to my cranking battery. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, so we'll do a quick test. Uh, let you hear what it sounds like the regular horn and hopefully this air horn um, will be much louder and then we'll do a test afterwards. It also says that on their diagram that if you have a very weak battery that it's going to affect the performance of this horn uh, so we'll see how that is um, yeah we'll see how it goes should be pretty simple all right let's get to work <laughs> and wouldn't you know it just as i'm about to test the horn somebody pulled into the spot right in front of our rv <laughs> all right Current horn. All right, everybody, before uh, we do anything, I'm just going to show you. I did a little bit of a, a pre work, which is makes everything go a lot smoother. Uh, so I cut and pre attached uh, the butt connectors. Obviously, this is the negative that's going to go back to our battery, so that way I can uh, figure out the length, battery to the horn. 
Did the same for the red for the power. Here's the fuse. Uh, got my butt connector here, so this will connect to the battery. And then this is the power going to the relay, so it has a butt connector on there as well. This is a uh, 14 to 16 gauge. Uh, this is obviously the negative. And then I just made sure I test fit my uh, female connectors so those work. So these are obviously going to get spliced into my power and my ground that go to the horn currently. Alright, so that is done. That'll make everything go a lot smoother. All I have to do is then cut, strip, and then um, put these on. Alright, as you can see right here, here's our old horn. This is the clip. Just pops right out. And there's two wires you got your power in your ground so we're going to splice into that and it's got all this old tape on it uh this is a 13 mil bolt so we're just going to unbolt So there's the old horn. All right, so it looks like to mount this, I'm gonna have to mount this first. This nut goes inside this sleeve. And that acts, and then we're gonna have to just twist it on and put this plastic piece on. Start this. All right, this is kind of hard to get on. Uh, just because you have to twist this, get it to the right tight like uh, setting. Get this uh, black spacer on, and then get this slipped onto that nut and then do a final torque to get it nice and tight so that's what i'm working on right now so this is kind of a pain in the butt Hope that holds. Alright, so this is the connector. I just clipped it and I'm also leaving some space in case I need to put it back. So this is my positive. I should probably put this. It's right here. It's positive. We're just going to now measure out our runs to the battery. Oh, I'll show you, that's pretty easy. I'll show you that when we're done. Alright everybody, I'm here at the stairwell. I got the wires into where the battery is. I'm just going to make my connections. Just place everything together. <coughs>
All right, so we're gonna connect them to our battery. All right, so our positive is connected, our negative is connected, we're good here. The only thing I'll have to do is just uh, zip tie the wires and add the wire loom, but that's easy enough to do later. Alright, so I'm just going to try and heat shrink this one. It's really hard because it's blowing 20 to 25 miles an hour. Look at the wind. I'm going to zip tie this whole relay assembly like right here to this zip tie here and just clean this up. I'll add some wire loom. Um, but I gotta try and shrink wrap this. The other thing we gotta do is we gotta add the, the filter. That just clips on right here. So. That's all connected, so let's test it out and see if it works. All right, everybody, that's it for the install of the Farbin Snail High Decibel Air Horn. Um, uh, everything's in there. I got the. I finally got the heat shrinks to to um, to seal up. The wind has died down for about ten seconds. Wow! Look at. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this super C. Holy cow! So yeah. I added some uh, zip ties along the way. Fairly simple install except the two things. One, uh, how you mount it onto the bolt and with that nut and having to twist it on and kind of set it right. A little annoying, but we got it done. Uh, the second thing was having to splice to the battery. Um, they do not give you a long enough line, uh, wire. So if our, if our battery was mounted in the front, where our engine is that would have been simple but our crank battery is all the way in the back under our stairs so we had to i had to run the wire back there uh so that added to the length of time for the install but overall easy job uh so if you like this video uh please hit the thumbs up don't forget to uh, subscribe and follow along on our journey and now for the air horn test and i will play um the new air horn and then i'll play the old one again Leave a comment down below what you think is loudest. Alright, see you on the next video everybody. Have a great day. Stay lost.